Trisha Paytas has once again quit Frenemies, and this time, I think it's serious. What's up guys? Today, we're talking about the major fight Trisha and Ethan got into on this week's episode of Frenemies, and Trisha announcing that they're done with the podcast. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So, we have a lot to talk about today. I was really looking forward to this week's Frenemies episode because I heard it was supposed to be about Gabby Hanna, and even though the episode was titled Gabby Hanna, it turned out much different. After they finished their segment on Gabby, Trisha started to talk about their favorite movie, Brokeback Mountain. While Trisha was trying to talk about the movie and the message behind it, Ethan cut her off to offer someone in the crew a piece of cursed Domino's pizza. About you it, like some? during the Oscars, and I don't know. Was I just, there, is there a third pizza? You're so not good about this. I swear, whenever they order Domino's pizza, you know things are about to get ugly. It's and the so pizza curse. Well, that's exactly what happened. Trisha got really upset with Ethan for cutting them off and started to go off about the next segment in the show. The next segment in the show was going to be Frenemies fans writing in to ask for advice. Ethan tweeted out about it a few days ago, and it was actually highly requested. Trisha said an advice segment is stupid and lazy and something that people do when they have nothing else to talk about. Now keep in mind, while Trisha is calling this highly requested segment stupid and lazy, the new hire who put it together was literally sitting in the same room. Pretty awkward. Ethan got pretty defensive and told Trisha that all they had to do was show up every week while the crew behind them did all the work on the lazy segments. Well, what, you want to talk more about the uh -uh. what, Brokeback Mountain, a movie from like 10 years ago? It's like a lazy podcast. Like, we're going to play games on the, like, you know. A lazy podcast. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything for it. You just show up. We do all the work. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Trisha went on to accuse Ethan of having flat out lazy content and said every Frenemies topic is always recycled topics from the H3 podcast. Ethan talked about Ela's pregnancy on the H3 podcast, and they also titled the last Frenemies episode about Ela's pregnancy. Trisha started insulting the crew too and asked how this whole crew could miss the fact that they're recycling the same topics from H3 After Dark onto Frenemies. It seemed like Trisha was just frustrated with the topics being chosen to talk about every week. Trisha said that they've pitched so many fun ideas for the show like dancing and pottery and they never end up using any of them. Which, I mean, that could be annoying but it also sounds like a conversation to have off camera. Anyways, this is where things took a turn for the worst. So much stuff was brought up that should have been discussed in like a team meeting or something. Trisha was upset because Ethan just hired a new employee and didn't get a say in who Ethan hired. Now, Ethan's argument was that why should he have to run it by Trisha, who he hires for H3 Productions? Frenemies is a podcast under H3 Productions, and his team that works with him has been with him forever. They're family and friends of Ethan, and he feels like just because Trisha is the talent for Frenemies doesn't mean they should get a say in who he hires for his production company. Then they started to talk about the money. It seems like whenever Trisha and Ethan get into a disagreement, the money issue is always brought up. Now, everyone on Twitter is saying that Trisha isn't mad about money, but when it's constantly brought up, what do you think people are going to think? Honestly, the money issue was just such a mess. I'm not even going to bother trying to explain it. So just watch this clip. Why would I ask you about people I hire? Because it's frenemies and you take the budget for paying the crew. That's what you told me. You take highlights, you take 5% to pay the crew. I take 5 you. I take five percent extra from the podcast revenue. Mm -hmm. And I take the highlights revenue. And everything else we split. All Beyond the highlights. Beyond reasonable. 5%. Yes. 5%. Do you realize how much 5% was of our last one? That should be enough. Finally, Trisha pleads with Ethan to just end the podcast so they can leave and go home. Trisha kept saying to Ethan, we gotta stop. We gotta stop for real. You could just tell that Trisha was getting noticeably upset. And personally, for me, the ending was really hard to watch. Even for Trisha to call the advice segment stupid is hurtful because it was highly requested by their fans. Anyways, here's what people had to say. They just need to take accountability for the way they acted. I'm a fan of theirs, but this was definitely disrespectful and childish of them. I feel bad for Ethan. He has literally turned their career over and done so much for them, and this is how they treat him? The crew hearing that they shouldn't get paid as much as they do. I honestly can't believe Trisha's angry about the crew getting 5%. They literally do everything. They must have felt so uncomfortable. I was really hurt when Trisha trashed the segment that interacted with the fans and said it was stupid and a waste of time. I was actually kind of excited to hear what they were going to say. But I guess I'm a stupid fan that's a waste of time. A lot of people also thought it was kind of ironic that on last week's episode, Trisha was calling out Rylan for being ungrateful to his fans. And then they kind of did that exact same thing this week with the advice segment. Honestly, the whole episode was just a mess. 
I'm just wondering if maybe Trisha isn't in the best headspace right now, especially after that Gabby Hanna article that came out over the weekend. Anyways, before the Frenemies episode even dropped, Trisha posted a video titled, Stepping Down from Frenemies. Now, this video wasn't clickbait. Trisha actually announced that they'll be stepping down from Frenemies. I don't know if that means for good or just like a mini break or something, but judging by what they said, it seems like it might be for good. Trisha said that they normally feel really guilty for how they've acted after a fight like that, but this time, something just didn't sit right with them. Apparently, the H3 Productions crew didn't want to film a Frenemies vlog today because the crew just felt really upset and hurt with Trisha. They explained that the money wasn't actually the issue that they had, it was a lack of say that they have in Frenemies operations and topics. From my understanding, it seems like Trisha is mad because Ethan called them the talent when they feel like they contribute a lot to the show. Trisha feels like them being on Frenemies every week has even helped build H3 Productions and get them more overall channel views. Trisha claims if Frenemies was uploaded on their channel, for example, instead of the H3 channel, they would have been able to grow a larger audience, but instead, only Ethan is profiting from it being on his channel. They claim that prior to Frenemies, H3 wasn't pulling the views that it pulled now, and Frenemies opened them up to a whole new audience. Trisha goes on to say that the biggest issue they have is with the cast. They have no issues with the cast as people, but Trisha feels really insecure walking into a podcast that Ethan and his crew built. Another huge problem that Trisha seems to have is the fact that his crew is all Ethan's family and friends. Trisha feels like an outsider because they all know each other and have their own inside jokes and feels like they'll always take Ethan's side over theirs. Trisha says if they knew that Frenemies was just going to be an extension of H3, they would have never agreed to do it. Trisha wanted Frenemies to be a podcast on its own apart from H3. Trisha said they wanted it to be like that so it would be 50-50 and there would be no family strings or feelings attached to the podcast. After Trisha posted the video, it got a lot of backlash and we're gonna get into that later because Trisha also pinned a comment under the video which said, I see a lot of your comments and you think I'm making a mistake or being unreasonable. I hear you and I'm not here to combat that. I'm leaving to ease the tension everywhere. I don't wanna be the toxicity in their machine and I can feel that I am and it's not good for anyone involved. I'm sorry so many of you are disappointed in me or that you only became a fan of me again through the show, but I cannot continue. If this makes me look selfish or like a brat, so be it. I am grateful for the opportunity, but it's just not good for me mentally anymore. And it could be my own brain attacking me, but for myself right now, I just need to disengage completely. This is without a doubt the hardest decision I've ever made. And it definitely was the most successful thing I've ever been a part of. So it's with a super heavy heart that I cannot continue. I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I don't know what else to say or how to convey what I'm going through right now without making things worse. And I'm clearly terrible at explaining my emotions and thoughts right now. Again, I'm sorry to disappoint and that's all I can say. Honestly, the comments aren't looking too good for them. It seems like a lot of people feel like it's ridiculous that Ethan constantly has to tiptoe around Trisha in order not to upset them. Here's what people had to say. Trisha, you'll regret this in a week. Frenemies is the best thing that's happened to you. And Ethan and Ela are some of the only people on YouTube that have showed you true kindness. Please rethink this. I'm so confused as to why Trisha thinks that a production company doesn't need a cut. It's not about the money. Spends 20 minutes talking about the money. It isn't about the money, yet money is mentioned constantly throughout this video. It's clear where your priorities lie, Trish, but if you stopped and thought about it for a moment, you'd realize that you're going to lose a whole lot more in terms of long-term support and positivity by walking away now. Especially in an argument where you've more or less said that the H3 staff don't deserve their 5% while having a much, much, much healthier bank balance than them. Disappointing. It looks like even Ethan had no idea that Trisha was going to wake up and quit today. He tweeted, Not sure what to do with 4,000 frenemies hoodies. I am honestly gutted over this whole thing. Trisha's video this morning was a total surprise to me. I don't really know what more I can say or do. I'm very sorry to all the fans of Frenemies. I know how much it meant to everyone. I did everything I humanly could to save it. It's the next day now and oh my god, so much went down last night between Ethan and Trisha. Trisha posted yet another video and pretty much spent the entire 18 minutes trying to better explain the reasonings for them being upset. Trisha claims it's 100% not about the money or the cast. They just want more of a say in the podcast. Trisha wanted to maybe hire their sister and have more say in what they do and the topics they cover. Now, this video didn't go over too well with Ethan. Ethan tweeted, Okay, I'm starting to get upset about all of this. 
Our crew is getting hate from Trisha's fans on their personal accounts, and I'm losing my cool. The crew has done nothing but support her and work their off every week, and the treatment they are getting is unacceptable. While Trisha keeps complaining about money, every single cent I've ever made from Frenemies is tied up in Frenemies merch that doesn't come out for another month, of which she'll still get 50% of the profits, paid for, designed, produced by us and I'm treating her unfairly? I reached out to Trisha an hour ago saying that I wasn't happy with how she handled this and how unfair it was, and instead of talking to me and handling it privately, she put out another 20 minute video that caused my crew to get so much hate that they're now privating their instas. And of course, Ethan tweeting just created a domino effect and Trisha went off. Like they even posted screenshots of text messages. Here's what Trisha had to say. I was never rude to them. I know nothing about what you pay them and I don't care to know. It was never about them. And then Trisha quote tweeted Ethan's tweet where he said that Trisha is getting 50% of the merch sales. And they said, this is a lie. I'm getting 15%, which is fine because you're putting up the money. Nowhere did you say Frenemies Highlights was the money going into buying the product. I'm still not mad, but why mislead saying I'm getting 50% of the profits when it's 15% of what you're telling me is profit? This is where the personal text messages come in. Trisha attached a screenshot of Ethan's text to them where he said, we are splitting the 30%, which is typically our profit margin. I don't think Trisha understands. If the overall profit margin is 30% and Trisha and Ethan are splitting that, Trisha is technically getting 50%. I can't scream enough. I don't want more money. I want to have a say in where some of the highlight money goes because that's what we agreed on production cost. He asked me why I should have a say in new hires because I was under the impression Frenemy's money would pay for someone's salary. I don't know, it turned into this huge thing. If I cared so much about money, I wouldn't be quitting, but apologizing and begging to be taken back. Money does not control me. It's a huge loss to step away from because it also helps promote my side business, which is now going to be not as easy and that's okay. AB, Dan, Ian are all public on Instagram. It's straight up no one is private. I really didn't think anything about being rude to the crew until Ethan texted me late last night that they were upset I disrespected them and wouldn't be filming the vlog the next day. Don't peace and love this. You brought it to Twitter. You brought up merch sales. I didn't respond privately because I'm not in the space to. And then blast me on Twitter saying I ins but then she's great and wonderful. Great time together. Ugh, be I offered today to Ethan to still promote Frenemies merch and take zero dollars. I didn't even want a cut anymore after all of this, but I would be happy to promote it as I didn't want to leave them high and dry, and that people would still buy it, especially under these circumstances. This is the exact problem I knew was going to happen. He's going to deflect on his crew that were all fans of Ethan before being hired and their girlfriends slash wives. Like, of course they'll always be in his favor. And I made to look like same old Trish knew this was gonna happen. I don't want people walking on eggshells with me, and if that's a consensus there, then of course I would quit. I'm not trying to cause anyone any anxiety or feel like their work is not appreciated. I've been unpopular my whole life and I don't mind going back to it. Sorry if I disappointed y'all, but I have nothing else to say. Even Dan from the crew spoke out about what's going on in messages with fans on Discord. Trisha seems to be under the impression that Sam, the new hire, came up with the advice segment idea not the case. She just put together the emails. Also, this segment was discussed prior to the show. Trisha was on board. It didn't seem like it was an issue until we arrived at that point in the show. Dan also said that he was actually prepared to shoot the vlog that day if that was the plan because it's his job. He also said Ethan decided to postpone slash cancel it until things calmed down. Just from those messages alone, it feels like no one truly even knows what happened. Everyone has a different story and this really could have been resolved if they all got together in person and talked. This whole argument happened late last night and just as expected, Trisha woke up today and posted tons of tweets apologizing and a video. Deleted all my tweets from last night. I shouldn't have shown private conversations. I apologize for everything. This got blown out of proportion. I don't want enemies. I've tried really hard to make amends with people that I've been in drama with and I don't want it. I made videos trying to explain myself and clarify, but they've all fallen flat and made things worse. There's nothing more I can say or want to say other than I'm sorry that it's ending this way. 
I feel horrible. This was the worst feeling to see people think that I'm this heartless monster who doesn't do anything wrong. I've been in the wrong so many times on Frenemies, they've really been wonderful to me. Like, it just wasn't working for me where I'm at. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure what I need to work on, but I'm gonna figure it out. I apologize to Ethan, Dan, and Sam, like I really do. It's embarrassing and I'm embarrassed. I'm not looking for a third chance because something has been overwhelming me recently and I need to figure out what it is. I know it's the best thing to leave. I do believe the feeling is mutual and I'm sorry you guys are getting slighted. So my guess is Frenemies is over or taking a very, very long break. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think they'll make up or did it just go way too far this time? Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.